Hello everyone, you're welcome back to All PC Geek. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to install Windows 11 Pro instead of Windows 11 Home. Now, if you've tried installing Windows recently, especially around late 2025, you've probably noticed that the installer often gives you only the Home Edition, with no option at all for Pro. This has become a really common issue and a lot of people think there's no way to fix it. But don't worry, because in this video I'll show you a simple proven method to force your PC to install Windows 11 Pro without any complicated tools or risky tricks. So let's dive right in. First, I'll start a regular Windows 11 installation just to show you the problem. As you can see, when I reach the version selection step, it only shows Windows 11 Home. There's no Pro Edition anywhere. So to fix this, we'll make a small but very powerful change inside our bootable USB drive. Before doing anything, remove the USB drive from the computer and shut down your PC completely. For this process, you'll need access to another working computer. We'll use it to modify the Windows installation files and make the USB install Pro by default. Basically, we're going to create two small configuration files that tell the Windows setup which edition to install. Alright, now I'm on my second laptop. On the desktop, I'm going to create two simple text files so they're easy to find. The first file will be called EI and the second one will be called FID. You can use Notepad or any text editor. I'm using Sublime Text here, but any will do. Let's start with the first file. Right-click on your desktop choose New Text Document and name it EI. Then create another one and name it FID. At first they'll both have the bought TXT extension, but we'll fix that later. Next, let's add the content to the EI file. You can copy the exact text I'm using. I'll leave it in the video description so you can just copy and paste. Open the EI file, paste the text, then go to File Arrow Save As. In the Save As Type dropdown, choose All Files and save it as EI.CFG. Then close the window. If you still have an old EI.txt file, go ahead and delete it. The .cfg one is what we need. Now let's move on to the FID file. Open the FID.txt file, paste the second text, also from the video description. then click File Arrow Save. You don't need to do Save As this time. Just save and close it normally. Now we have both files ready, ei.cfg and fid.txt. The next step is to insert your Windows 11 bootable USB into the computer.
Once it's detected, open the drive and find the folder named Sources. That's where all the setup files are located. Now simply copy the two files we just created, ei.cfg and fid.txt, and paste them inside that Sources folder. If you already had an ei.cfg file there, replace it with this new one. And that's it! Your bootable USB is now ready to install Windows 11 Pro. Let's test it to confirm. Safely remove the USB, plug it into the PC where you want to install Windows, and boot from it as usual. Go through the first setup steps, language, keyboard, and click Install Now. This time, when you reach the Edition Selection screen, you'll finally see Windows 11 Pro listed. No more home-only limit. That means our two files worked perfectly. Continue the installation like normal. Pick Windows 11 Pro, select your partition, and let it install. Once setup finishes, go to Settings, System, About, and you'll see Edition, Windows 11 Pro. Congratulations, you've just installed the Pro Edition successfully. Now let's do a quick recap. We started with a USB that only installed Windows 11 Home. Then, using another PC, we created two files, ei.cfg and fid.txt, and placed them inside the Sources folder. After doing that, the setup gave us the option to choose and install Windows 11 Pro. This method is simple, safe, and works completely offline. You might be wondering what these two files actually do. The ei.cfg file tells Windows Setup which edition to install, in our case, Pro, and stops it from auto-detecting the home license tied to your device. The fid.txt file helps define edition behavior or licensing information that reinforces that selection. Together, they override Microsoft's automatic detection, so you can take full control of what version you install. If your installer still defaults to Home, double-check that both files are inside the Sources folder, and make sure ei.cfg was saved using all files, not as a plain text file. That's a common mistake people make. So now you know how to force your PC to install Windows 11 Pro instead of Home, even on newer 2025 builds that try to auto-lock you. This is especially useful for those who need Pro features like Remote Desktop, BitLocker, Group Policy, and Hyper-V. Before we wrap up, a quick note. The reason this issue happens is because newer Windows installers automatically detect the license stored in your device's BIOS. If your laptop originally shipped with Windows Home, the installer reads that license and skips the edition screen entirely. But when we add the ei.cfg file, we override that automatic detection. And that's why this trick works so well. Alright guys, that's it for today's tutorial. If this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button. It really supports the channel. And don't forget to subscribe to All PC Geek for more Windows tutorials, installation guides, and tech fixes every week. Turn on the notification bell so you won't miss our next upload. If you have any questions or if something doesn't work, drop a comment below. I always read and try to help. Thanks so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep learning, keep exploring, and as always, stay geeky.